Hey, my name's Larry, and this is a 2003 Chevy S10 that we bought. We needed a truck, we bought a house. We needed a little truck to uh, go through and get things. Everybody was asking half a million dollars for a truck with half a million miles on it. So we bought this one out of the Poconos. It was in the woods for several years and got her running. Couple things we had to do: cap and rotor. Um, it didn't have any brakes. Every time it hit the brakes, all I'd hear is, <sighs> and uh, it took about a gallon and a half of brake fluid right after we bought her, and drove it home with horrible misfires. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this thing, not really system by system, but. Yeah, maybe system by system and uh, figure out what else it needs um, it hasn't passed inspection in several years and we'll, uh, we'll get her to pass inspection knock wood and uh, we'll go from there but stick around we're gonna go on a uh, a little journey learning journey a learning journey of learning and uh, we'll figure this thing out together stuff we don't know we can look up in books remember those books and uh, the stuff we do know we'll find in leaks and how to do breaks and stuff like that we'll, uh, we'll show you how we do it and uh, couple seconds here we're gonna do a little walk around see how bad she is see what we've done already and see exactly what we got to do there's a truck let's walk over to her and, uh, the good things we got our exposed oil filter right there you can't really see it and we went ahead and put new uh, new meats on her. Got some of the Goodyear Wranglers, because the other ones are horrible. Somebody couldn't get in, so they opened it up with a can opener. And uh, decided to punch that in right here. Um, got a roof rack on her. And uh, a bed liner. That's going to come out. Um, the real reason we bought her is because she's really solid. No problems with the frame at all. Uh, you can see the bed there. Uh, there's my new brake line. And uh, more of the Goodyear Wranglers. Bird poop. And uh, maybe today we're going to go ahead and put a better CV antenna on her. And uh, that's the walk around. We're going to dollar up a little bit. We already worked on the front a tiny bit. Here comes some more folks to look at the big chair. So uh, we're going to get out of here. GoPro, stop recording. So right here, yeah, that's that can opener job that somebody did on it. And then that wasn't good enough, so they had to pry it over. Out here, I don't know if you can see in there. But yeah, so they pried that open. didn't have this on it when we got it the only way to open the door it's not locked the only way to open the door is with the key and then it doesn't open because it's hitting over here right down here so that's why they pried that open but if we lift it up and then it'll almost open then we can crank her open the rest of the way now know what kind of I don't know what kind of movement is acceptable but in polite society I don't think I don't think that's any good so we're gonna get in here and we're gonna replace these pins not right now and not today and it looks like the passenger side is starting to do it a little bit too. 
So we'll get in there and we'll take care of those. It should be about $18 worth of parts. And we got a new door and a new fender from some guys. And I'll show you those in a little bit. GoPro, stop recording. Just wanted to show you a quick overview of the truck. Stuff that we're going to do, stuff that we did. Um, and then uh, next video, we're going to show you Garibaldi Garage HQ. And uh, all the parts we got stockpiled for it. Make a list of the stuff we're going to need. And, uh, so that's about it. Hold on a minute. I got to do a tough guy pose. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll, uh, I don't know if you're going to like it or subscribe to it or whatever. We'll get some more coming up here pretty quick. Alright, take care. GoPro, stop recording.